Hey there guys and gals, this is Would You Kindly Watch here again, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to run .jar files instead of opening them in 7-zip or RINWAR if it says internal or external batch file not recognized, or if the command screen black box pops up and then immediately closes. So uh, I have two fixes for this, so here's the first one. First what you want to do is go to computer and then your OS. After that, go to Program Files with the x86. Then you want to find Java. Once you find it, you want to right-click on it and hit Copy. Then go back to your just regular OS and go to Program Files, this time with the not x86. Then you want to go and you want to paste it into here. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. So then you just paste it into there. After that, you want to go and open the Java that you just pasted and click on the JRE. Um, it'll have a certain number on it depending on which Java you have downloaded. You want to make sure you have the most recent Java downloaded on your computer. But anyways, you go inside of it and then you go inside of your bin. Then you want to go to the top address bar and hit copy address. After that what we want to do is go back to your start screen in my computer. And you want to right click on it and hit Properties. After that, you want to go to Advanced System Settings. Then once you get into this screen, you want to hit Environment Variables. When you do that, you want to hit to make a new one. And the variable name is Path. And you have to make sure it's all capitalized. Then you want to copy the address that you just got. And you hit OK. Then we need one more. The variable name is Class Path. And again, all caps and then copy your address in here again. Then make sure you hit OK or else it won't save any of the changes that you just did. And um, hit OK again. And that's the first fix. Then you should be able to open your .jar files when you open it with the Java platform binary. But as you see, mine pops up with the black screen command box and then immediately goes away. So I was lucky enough for that to not work for me. So here's the second solution if that's what yours is doing, the same as mine. Now, what you're going to want to do is download whatever .jar you want and um, then go to your desktop and make a new folder. And you just want to name that, you can really name it whatever you want. I was downloading Forge for Minecraft, so I named it Forge. But let's just, I don't know, test. and. Um, then you want to drag whatever your jar is into there. So um, I guess I don't have another jar right now. I'll drag my forge into there. And you just want to put the, uh, the regular jar in it. You don't want to do anything special with it. But then um, what you want to do then is open up Notepad. And this is what you need to type into Notepad. But the difference is where... Um, Mine says Forge. You see, that's what I named my jar file. You have to um, name whichever one you want, or whatever you named your jar, put that here. So if my jar was named, I don't know, Test, that's what I would put in here. But since mine is named Forge, I have to put it exactly how it is, Forge. So you just type Start, space, Java, W, space, hyphen, jar, space, Forge, dot jar or whatever yours is named you change this all right then you want to hit save as and do start dot bat and then the save as type you need to change that to all files and then you want to put it into whatever folder you just created so mine is called test so I want to save it into there and we can X, X that out. And what we did here is we made a batch file, which will make it run whatever your jar file is. So then all you need to do is double click on it, and it should run whatever the jar is that you were trying to run. All right, so um, that's it. That's hopefully one of these solutions works for you. The first one did not work for me, and it was frustrating, but then I finally, after some research, learned how to make a batch file and got this to work. So. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. Again, I'm Would You Kindly Watch. Later.